The America First Capital Management LLC purchases new stake in Alara Inc. ALR. Other institutional investors also recently added to or reduced their stakes in the company. American International Group Incorporated raised its position in Alara by 10.2% in the second quarter. American International Group Incorporated now owns 2,752 shares of the company's stock worth $115,000 after buying an additional 254 shares during the period. Signature Eft LLC increased its stake in Alara by 36.0% in the second quarter. Signature Eft LLC now owns 3,400 shares of the company's stock worth $142,000 after buying an additional 900 shares in the last quarter. Prudential Financial Incorporated increased its stake in Alara by 6.1% in the second quarter. Prudential Financial Incorporated now owns 5,215 shares of the company's stock worth $217,000 after buying an additional 300 shares in the last quarter. Calvert Investment Management Incorporated acquired a new stake in Alara during the second quarter worth approximately $220,000. Finally, BOKFNA increased its stake in Alara by 50.2% in the second quarter. BOKFNA now owns 7,825 shares of the company's stock worth $327,000 after buying an additional 2,614 shares in the last quarter. 90.43% of the stock is currently owned by institutional investors. America First Capital Management LLC acquired a new position in Alara Inc. NICALR, during the third quarter according to its most recent disclosure with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The firm acquired 39,801 shares of the company's stock, valued at approximately $1,721,000. Alarum makes up 1.4% of America First Capital Management LLC's investment portfolio, making the stock its 23rd largest position. Shares of Alara Inc. NICE ALR opened at 38.93 on Friday. Alara Incorporated has a 12-month low of $31.47 and a 12-month high of $54.13. The company has a 50-day moving average price of $39.33 and a 200-day moving average price of $40.37. The stock's market cap is $3.39 billion. Alara, NICE ALR last released its quarterly earnings data on Friday, November 4. The company reported $0.19 cents earnings per share for the quarter, missing the consensus estimate of $0.54 cents by $0.35. Cents. Alara had a negative net margin of 1.64% and a positive return on equity of 8.01%. The firm earned $582 million during the quarter compared to analysts' expectations of $605.50 million. During the same period in the previous year, the business earned, 10 cents, earnings per share. The business's revenue for the quarter was down 3.6% on a year-over-year -year basis. Analysts anticipate that Alara Incorporated will post $1.93 earnings per share for the current fiscal year. A number of equities research analysts have commented on ALR shares. Zach's investment research upgraded Alara from a strong sell rating to a hold rating in a research report on Monday, January 9. Canaccord Genuity set a $52 target price on Alara and gave the company a buy rating in a research report on Thursday, December 8. Finally, Goldman Sachs Group, Inc. They reduced their target price on Alara from $45 to $42 and set a neutral rating on the stock in a research report on Friday, November 4. Three research analysts have rated the stock with a hold rating and four have assigned a buy rating to the company's stock. Alara has an average rating of buy and a consensus target price of $49.50. Alara Company Profile Alara Inc. is a provider of health information through diagnostic tests. The company's segments include professional diagnostics, consumer diagnostics, and corporate and other. 
the professional diagnostics segment includes an array of diagnostic test products and other in vitro diagnostic tests marketed to medical professionals and laboratories for detection of diseases and conditions within its areas of focus. Want to see what other hedge funds are holding ALR? Visit holdingschannel.com to get the latest 1-3F filings and insider trades for Alara Inc. Nice ALR.